Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to Through These Doors. Um, I'm actually going to be the host this year. I'm so excited and I kind of, I feel like I have big shoes to fill because, you know, we had Alyssa and we had Parker hosting this podcast, but I'm very excited to be doing this this year and have so many different guests on. And first I want to introduce Emily. She's our guest today. Hey y'all, I'm Emily. What's up? So excited to have her on. And just, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different things today, mainly just like our year so far, because it's already September, almost October, actually. It's crazy to me, actually. very crazy. I think it's just also the fact that it's our senior year, and everything's just flying by, at least for me, and it's crazy. So we've had a lot of things going on so far. We had our car show in August, Mm -hmm. which was really, really good for our chapter. We always have a great turnout. And I would say this year it was also really good, it like compared really to last good. year. And like, I feel like we had a lot more cars this year. We did. And definitely a lot more vintage ones because you have that mix of people who bring like their new like Mustangs mm-hmm. and then like yeah. the old like 1960s. Mm-hmm. And so like us like getting to walk around and see it all was, that was It was so, so fun. Cool. And it was really cool because like she said, we had a good variety of cars yeah. this year. It wasn't just like all the old ones, it was like new and old, and it was yeah. just a really good. And then we also had some of the state officers come with yes, you. Yes, that, that was so was fun. So fun. Getting they to were, meet all of them. Yes. I love, I love all the state officers. And They're like, so sweet. We, we of course had to hit a Walmart the night before, and we made <laughs> slime, and we watched um, the Batman Lego yes, movie. So it was a course. very exciting time. And then we came to the school and then just had to sit with the cars all day mm-hmm. and they were I think I really think they loved it but yeah. they were probably like okay like this is Winfield like I know. what is going on so. I know exactly but it was just so like fun meeting them yeah. I always love like seeing the and meeting the new yes. officers like every year because like I can just think back every year like the people I know the, it's, like yes. the people that state officers we knew yeah. and like just from state convention and then like having our own state exactly. officers like it's that's so cool. crazy it's so cool it's like a full circle it really moment, is. you know it does feel like it. it's just crazy but anyways we also have something coming up which is, we're really excited about yeah. freshman freak out freshman this freak week out. we do that for our freshmen every year yeah and hopefully we'll have a good turnout. We do have a lot of freshmen. Mm-hmm. This is a big class. I feel they're like huge. Like have, I feel like they're next to us because yeah. we're the big, or we have been the biggest uh-huh. class in the school. But they have like so. They many. have a lot, and they have a lot of good students. Yes. And I feel like are, would love like I they love so ag, too. they love FFA, mm-hmm. and a lot of them seem really interested. Yeah. So I'm really excited about like having them. And I, I personally, I'm excited because I have a sibling. That shout is true. out! That is but true. I'm excited, and hopefully he will get involved because. You know, I think he likes stuff like this. I think FFA so too. is great, and I would encourage it to and anyone. And you can like, push him to do yes, it too. Yes, exactly. It's, I know for me, like it was always like, oh, my sister did FFA, I have I to do, do FFA. It. And mm-hmm. so my mom was kind of like, you gotta do it. Yeah. And then like he'll find his own path. He'll exactly. pave his own way. So. I know, but that's really good. But so, yeah. but I feel like senior year just. I, like I feel like we started yesterday. It's gonna be October soon. We were just talking off camera mm-hmm. how we have homecoming coming up yes. and how like that has just not been a thought at all. No, and it's so weird to me that like every every year before that used to be like okay homecoming's coming or like mm-hmm. football games and now I'm just like okay college applications. It's like, just I've all happening. Essays, there's right? there's so many things. Like I feel like I don't know. I feel pressure in a way to just yeah. be like just to have all of my stuff together, but I yes. don't feel like I. Me too. It's just crazy because. Me too. I guess, like, no one, I feel like no one prepares you for senior year because it just, all it the just things happens are happening. And it's just all crashing down at once. And I just feel like I would have been, like, it's just not what I thought it would be for mm-hmm. me personally this year. Like, yeah. I felt like it would be, like, different. Yeah. But I think it's just, you feel all the, em- like, every day you feel, like, the different. Emotion. Like, yes. you're either, like, stressed out or you're excited or you're sad. sad. It's just, like, bittersweet all at once. Yeah. And it's just crazy because it's just all happening. And yes. I just don't know how to keep up. And I, I know. I don't either. And, like, college stuff, like, That's too, deciding on get, where to go. Yes, I keep getting, like, the letters from, like, the random places. Yes. Like, they're obviously not going to go to the places, <laughs> but, like, they come into the mail, and they have all these checklists, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, I've not even hit step one, no, exactly. which is the problem we're facing I right know. now. And, like, you were saying, like, about the motions, like, I usually don't get, like, sappy about stuff, but every now and then I'll see, like, a TikTok or, like, an so, uh, old picture will come up, and, and it'll it just, just hits me in the it'll face. It'll just I'm set like, everything off, and you're just like, <sighs> yes, wow. Yes, yes. And then I start spiraling, because you don't think it's the end until it, like, actually it gets actually there. It actually happens. And we had to go um, last week, start, like, not paying, but the uh, cap and gown yeah. stuff, and they, like, gave us all our information and stuff. And the guy working it was, like, or maybe it was uh, Miss Jackson. Mm-hmm. Either one of them was like, yeah, you only have seven months left. It's like, seven months? 
It's crazy. Seven months, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, it's no, absolutely that's no crazy. Time at all. None. I know. So. And I think, like, with deciding, because I feel like a lot of people at this point of senior year, they either have their college picked oh, out yes. or they don't. And not I know, like, girl. me personally, I'm not there yet. Not I don't have either. a place We're picked out. Mm-mm. And it's just really hard because you have to think about all the factors yes. of, like, what you want in a college. Yeah. And that's just also been really hard. And I think. Another thing about senior year is just balancing all the things. Like, yes. we're starting P-Law. That just, like, true. with our own, like, whatever we're involved in. We're involved mm-hmm. in a lot of the same yes, things. But yeah. it's just a lot of things. Yeah. And it just feels like even more this year, I guess. Like, it so just much feels... More. Like, I'm involved in the same things as I was, like, the past three yeah, years of high school. But it just... Last year. I guess it's just because we have all these added things that just so feel like a lot, you yeah. know. It feels like more pressures on this year because it's, like this is the last time we're ever mm. doing this so like we've got to make it count exactly and there's so there's just so much more added pressure and like i feel that with p-law too because like mm-hmm. last year we wanted it so bad yeah. and we were so close and then now it's like oh we get to have that final mm-hmm. uh we're on our revenge tour exactly we and, are and, <laughs> and like we're making a doc jj's making us a documentary for she's that doing so great with it and i'm so excited mm-hmm. for that but that's like sentimental because it's like oh it that's is. the final goodbye it and it we're making it so much more yeah than what we did last mm-hmm. year and so i feel like that adds that mix of like pressure but also I excitement know, right? about mm-hmm. it too and i think another thing for me is like just not wanting because in the moment you're like okay like whatever it is you yeah. you don't want to like brush through it you want to just enjoy yes. it but i've kind of found myself with like some things like i know yeah. i need to enjoy the football games I but sometimes too. when you're not feeling it I, you're like i, I don't dread feel them, it like, and you dread them there. and i'm like i don't need to dread them yes. i need to just enjoy it and i'm really really trying to like yeah. do that with just everything and try and be intentional mm-hmm. about things in our senior year because yeah. i just think about you know like the people and like yeah. all of the routines it's not going to be the same obviously mm-hmm. when we come back like next year or whatever yes, it's gonna after may different. it's going to be different and i'm just trying to just be Get very present with everything because yeah. it's just hard like you just want to you just want everything to just happen, to happen you're ready to you, graduate but yes, at the same time you're like i don't want I need to, to you don't want to wish it away i agree so it's just finding a balance with all those emotions and things through it's senior so year much. it's and a I, lot i've been stuck on this mindset like you know those long days of school where like maybe i'm going to do oh something my i get gosh. this mindset of like oh it'll be over in a few hours like oh it will be exactly. over in a few hours I do and the so same then thing. i don't care about what's happening in the I moment know. and it makes me ungrateful and i'm like i'm the okay, same way i have limited days here mm. like it's high school yay but like i have limited days here yes. with limited people uh-huh. who are we're all gonna go our separate ways and so that makes me upset with myself to be like oh well it's just another day like it's another monday it'll be exactly. over before long i do the same thing like i just i find it so hard some days like some yeah. weeks and i'm just like okay going into another week yes. and same new mindset routine, fresh new i need test. to start off fresh but like it's so hard because you're doing the same I know, routine I know. but i just i try and look at it on the right side like yeah. i try and find positive things through my yes. day but like i've kind of been struggling with that lately the yeah. past couple of weeks i'm like okay i don't it i don't know how i'm already in like a slump and that's why like, it's already pretty much october yeah which makes me so upset. i what i need to do is hop on my like journaling grind that's or, what like, i do with like or just like my planner i yeah. like to just i like to make sure i have like my date set out yeah. so i know what i have to look forward yes. to because it makes you excited exactly and i'm one, one other thing i'm looking forward to in october is nationals i'm so oh, excited because i actually forgot we yes. were going to that because oh. y'all i can't even tell y'all the excitement i have because oh my gosh i'm so glad you remember that That because that's what i'm looking forward to me too oh i'm so excited i'm so excited and that's soon like that's exactly a month from now yo i cannot wait and you're you're a state officer so how do you feel about that i don't know i'm really like nervous because i don't know what to expect because Uh we went to dc this summer and like planned for all Mm. of nationals there and like now that we're kind of putting that into action like i'm so i'm ready to see all the other state officers from everywhere but it's really intimidating to be like yeah, oh like we're doing definitely. work mm-hmm. this is business yeah because like last year was my first year mm-hmm. and like we would just walk around and we were like cheering on jj and stuff it's and gonna so be totally it was very, different yeah so different but i'm so excited though like, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited just for you too so that's gonna be awesome just meet all the people yes because you have an even better 
um, opportunity to meet yeah, people. For like, sure. just from someone, like, going or competing, mm-hmm. I feel like you just, you meet more people yes. in your position, and that's awesome. Yeah, I'm like, so you're going to get to be involved yes. and, like, go throughout Indiana. Uh-huh. And, like, they have something, I don't know what they do. Like, they have, like, a service project, I think they do. I think they do, too. Yeah, because a think. lot of chapters do that, but yeah. I think it's, like, required for state officers to go. I know, so. and it just gets me excited yeah. for fall because that's yes. my favorite season. <gasps> We've got to go back to, yeah. um, Last year we went to an apple orchard. And oh that, what my was gosh, that small that town bookstore? It was this cute little bookstore in like small town. Yes. I don't know what it was called, but we have to go back. It there. was that was like peak. It was peak. it was amazing. And that was my first time going to. Uh-huh. So I was like, okay, I'm so old. Like, yes, Indiana exactly. Is and the place the weather? And then we went to a basketball game on our last night. Oh, I, I forgot think. about we did that. that. I it's totally like fun because like you get to have like the yes. you experience FFA and you experience like all of the the beautiful things about Indianapolis because yes. I love Indianapolis and just yeah. like being with your people it's just I such know. a good time and, and like, you're like stuck in the car for and, 15 hours exactly and, and you get to sleep or read a book yes. and it's just it's that just great so, oh, I'm so excited but now. it's it's just gonna be so fun no. and I'm I'm very looking what are you forward most to excited it. for in Indy oh my gosh I just love like the because it's just new and exciting and I love the feel it just feels like you know because it's not the heat that we have here it's just nicer up there and I think I'm just excited to see y'all like do your thing I'm excited I really am like I'm excited like to see y'all like that's so cool yeah and I think I'm excited just for more memories Uh and like I think we have some like new people going this year yes I'm excited for that I'm excited for them like we have some people competing And I'm just also excited for, like, getting coffee and stuff, yeah, like, the true. coffee. I'm going to branch out. I'm going to – JJ put me on to some coffee this summer, okay, so I'm going to slowly, like, good, work my way up. She need, we're trying to get her to, like, yeah, coffee. Yeah, I'll get there, guys. So she's going to get there eventually. But just excited for all the things yeah. and just make it – just make the trip, you know. Yes. Just, you know what we need to do again is our Delulu episode again like we did Please? last year. Please, that was the that best. That was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. And I, like, I go back and I rewatch that video, and in that video I'm like – we what were y'all what i don't even know what night that was but we were either. exhausted i was exhausted and it was probably only like 9 p.m and i'm like sitting hunched over like <laughs> yeah guys so what's up like just rambling we back were just it was out. so it was, good it was so good and there was like random people at that hotel that had walked in at one yes. point i think it was other FFA it was hilarious they, and it was like this is we were in the like kitchen area i guess and there was the lobby right there but it was just open yeah. and so they were just sitting there standing like <laughs> We, we had, had all a, the equipment. Was, like this yeah. was like Hollywood. It I was know, crazy. It was hilarious. But yeah, I'm just excited. And did somebody? Okay, I saw this on an FFA page. Yeah. Is Megan Maroney coming? Yes. Or whatever her name yes. is. I don't keep up I with don't her. Listen to, I, don't I don't listen, listen to country. Her either. But, but I know I a lot of people are is. excited about that. Yes, because um, Mr. Lejeune, our state advisor, yeah. like texted us and he's like, "Do y'all want tickets?" And everyone was like, yeah, we do. Because I saw a video today and, like, her regular tickets, like, not at FFA and stuff, are going for, like, thousands of dollars. Like, people really listen to her. And they I'm do. Like, I'm like, she's I'm very not a popular. country person, so Me I don't either. know much. But I think I've only heard one song by her, but yeah. I don't know anything. But I, I think either. that's crazy. I th- and I think everyone's, like, freaking out about it. Because mm-hmm. last year, it was Lainey Wilson. It I'm was. Sure, yeah. Wait, it was. I didn't even know that last year. No, I don't, I don't either. Oh I my just gosh. figured that out. I just don't keep up with country people. I don't either. We're but maybe that's not like FFA enough of us. Sorry guys. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah. But, yeah, that's great. And then I think they're supposed to have some like really good um guest speakers too. Really? I forgot who it was, but I remember because they always post it on Instagram mm-hmm. and they're always blowing it up. Yeah. So. I love that. I'm excited. But I'm very excited. And also, I like to see to listen to the um, retiring addresses. <gasps> yes. We got to sit in for a few last year. And, yeah. y'all, it does not take much for me to start crying on those. I'm not even going to lie. I start crying. They're so good. Because they time. were so good. Yeah. Like, and I and you get attached for, like, that week to just, like, the state officers. Like, not yeah. the state officers. The, the national, the national officers. officers. Because you get to, like, know them. Meet them, Just, yeah. like, and meeting them. And it's just, like, really cool. Because yes. you just get to learn about people. Agreed. And you just like the connections you make mm-hmm. and I don't know it's just it's such a good time I know and that's like one thing I think about the FFA a lot is like I never would I thought I would make those friends no. or have those little connections exactly. like I may talk to a national officer like once or twice but like they impacted me in so I many know. ways and like not just national officers but like any member out there mm-hmm. like yeah you know who would have thought like me like does not <laughs> own a farm like you don't yeah. either like and we're going I out know. there and going to nationals mm-hmm. and like making all those friends and that and I feel like that's 
you, like that you, you said you were really excited about that yeah. and like making those memories like uh-huh. that is one of my favorite parts I know of doing all that I know I'm excited but I can't think of anything else that we need to talk about either. we I pretty much kind of we've talked about everything yeah, I feel like I think for so this too. episode we don't want to get too yeah. ahead of ourselves we don't want to spoil it for the next one because yeah. the next guest is gonna blow y'all's minds away she is yes yes so. okay <laughs> so we hope y'all enjoyed make sure to watch our next one and yeah, y'all definitely want to see it because it yes. may or may not be about fall. Maybe oh, fall maybe, coffee. Maybe Pumpkin spice maybe latte. just putting that out there. Okay, but anyways, thank you for watching and thank you to Emily yes, for being for on our podcast today. We will see y'all in the next yes, one. Yes, bye y'all. Bye.